Taking it like a champ. Me and dear. Once again, it is Dead Walking Sunday. I'm sorry, a little bit sick, but boy, did I get done watching The Walking Dead. Season 7, Episode 1. Who was Negan's victim? Now, this is a spoiler review, so you guys, hopefully, I, I think you guys seen the episode. I did do a non-spoiler review, but there were some issues on the mic, so I'm just going to present the spoiler review because... Everybody's seen this episode. I have... My God. Where do I begin with this? Let's begin with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. This cat. He is not like... He is similar but yet different from the Negan that we know from the comic book series. I think the Negan from the comic book series is more energetic. Cusses a ton. But it's AMC. You can't say fuck. Fucking guy. Fuck. Fuck you, Rick Grimes. Every, every chance you get, you just can't do that. It's, it's not HBO. It's not Game of Thrones shit. Brutality. The gore in here. You can only do so much as well. But boy, did they nail that one particular scene. But Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, was absolutely charismatic and charming in this role. He makes up for the cussing to be a little bit... He's a little funny. He's not ha-ha funny joker funny he's very sadistic he's very uh he express he's very the he commands the screen i was watch. there's that scene where they're in the rv and it's negan and it's rick you know he has the hatchet on the fucking table he's like oh yeah you should grab that fucking hatchet just bash my fucking head with it and but there's a particular scene where those two are talking and i was hearkening back to the governor and how the governor was supposed to be this big baddie coming into the tv series in the comic book he is a son of a bitch all right he is a great villain but in the tv series there's your difference when rick and the governor would have especially that one particular episode when they were discussing business basically uh when they were going back and forth there was really the dialogue wasn't really there the chemistry wasn't really there it was flat the governor wasn't as much of a threat as in the comic but jeffrey dean morgan's negan is by all means a fucking threat by all means he commands the screen by all means there was already chemistry between him and rick or andrew lincoln absolutely Great performance by ne uh, Jeffrey D. Morgan as Negan. We got a little taste of it in Cliffhanger in Season 6. But Season 7, truly, this was Negan episode all the way. He was here from beginning to end. He absolutely crushed it. He abs For the first episode, he did a phenomenal job. It isn't the Negan from the comic books. There's little differences here and there. Yet, yeah, there's still similar things that he brings to the table that he brought from the comic books. But he makes it his own. And that's exactly... He makes it realistic. He makes it realistic in the tone and the settings and the characters that we have been presented all throughout the years with The Walking Dead. This is what Negan... I, I could see Negan doing realistically. And he's very... He's not over the top. The Negan in the comics is over the top. The Negan here, Jeffrey D. Morgan, plays it subtle. When he needs to be angry, he is angry. When he's ready to have fun, he has fun. <clears throat> this season premiere, by hands down, is one of the best season premieres of The Walking Dead. Now, there's arguments to be made. Uh, I think it would. I would have to think about it. Uh, I really did love how Carol took out the Termin, uh, Terminus people in uh, the, what, that one particular season. I can't remember what season it was. I think it was season five. I thought that was a phenomenal opening to a season, but this one really, really fucking, they nailed the tone, the direction, 
the fucking atmosphere. The only thing that really kind of fell for me was some of the editing and the particular victims. Now I say victims. I did make a video before season six cliffhanger and I said that Negan wasn't just going to kill one person. If you want to make an impact with Negan, you kill two people. Now, unrealistically, I should have thought about it. But I said that he was probably going to kill Glenn, like in the comics, and he was going to kill Daryl because that's how you fucking present a villain. However, I changed my tune. Once the cliffhanger happened, I said, you know what? He's probably going to stick with Daryl, but Abraham's going to probably die because Abraham does die in the comics, and he hasn't died yet. <laughs> I was right on the money. Right on the money. You could check the dates. You could check my thoughts on those videos. I predicted it. Some I usually don't predict shit, but I predicted it. And um, here's the problem. Here's one of the problems I have with the episode. Let's get into the meat and potatoes, guys. I think we need to discuss this. Was season six cliffhanger, was the hype worth it? The hype was worth it. The hype was worth it. Waiting all this time. The, I, had, I was so nervous. You can check out my live reaction. I was so nervous. It was great. However, the impact on the two deaths that were Abraham and Glenn did not have too much of an impact. That it should have. For people who read the comics. For the people who haven't read the comics and don't know what's going to happen. Who have not been spoiled up to this point. I think it did It did the job. I think the cliffhanger worked in that aspect. I think the cliffhanger worked for the people who just like. Holy shit Glenn is dead. Holy shit Abraham fucking bit the dust. But when people who read the comics. I think for us. We went into this knowing that Glenn is probably going to die. And I think a lot of us started thinking too that Abraham might be the other one too. Because Abraham hasn't lasted this long. He never even encountered Negan. <laughs> I am. I thought they did the, the Glenn death. I thought they did Abraham's death great. I thought him, uh, Negan, saying taking it like a champ. We That was. That dialogue was for the comic for Glenn, but it works perfect for Abraham because a and Abraham, dude, he's like, "Oh, suck my nuts" or something. Like that. that shit was funny, and he is like, "This motherfucker." That was great. Abraham's and then Abraham's death was because Abraham looked like when he got picked, his you could just see his hand and it's slight, but he was fucking. He's like, "Oh shit, my time is now," and it sucks. You know, Abraham was a pretty good character, but. I didn't have too much of a, like, oh, okay, Abraham died, okay. But when that particular angle, when Negan was talking to Rick, and you could see Glenn on his knees, and he says, back to it, I absolutely knew he was going to do it, because that, that, that shot just seemed like he was going to do it, and he did it. He bashed Glenn over the head, and then AMC is a, I mean, they can only do so much, but kudos to the team. Kudos to the special effects. This is the best way. I mean, you thought of Carl's eye. They did it the best way possible. And they did a great job on that. They did a fantastic job on Glenn and his death. They did. It was. That is how. That's as much gruesome as you're going to get from the comics. The comics is. Oh my God. Like those panels are just drawn horrifically. But Glenn, seeing Glenn and how straight from the comics to that particular scene it hits you still i mean you knew you know glenn's gonna die and you knew glenn was gonna die but it still kind of hits you a little bit and you're like because the the way it all came together the way it looked the way he goes maggie and then how he says i'll find like fuck dude wow that really hit but <laughs> glenn's death should have hit harder Glenn's death should have been it actually sh it probably should have made me cry I got I, I you know thinking about Glenn's death I was like you know I it hit but it should have made me cry it didn't do what it they that particular scene didn't do what it have the same impact than the one scene where when Glenn fell off the dumpster and we thought he was getting ripped to shreds that was unexpected because I read the comics. That was unexpected. And I, was, and I actually got emotional out of that. And I was pacing around the fucking rooms going, Glenn's gone. Glenn's gone. And of course, and then I re 
you're like, wait, no, maybe he went under the dumpster. Just be, so I think they took away the more impact moment. This is why the cliffhanger didn't really work. But yet it does for people who haven't read the comics. But it doesn't work for people who have read the comics. Because they had all the momentum going into that cliffhanger in season 6. And Glenn's death, I think, would have been more impactful. Because we've been teased with it so many times in season 6. And then we were like, it's all, it's time. It was that moment. We didn't know what was going to happen. Well, we kind of didn't know what was going to happen. But at that one particular, our mind's racing. But now we have time to kind of reflect and see, okay, maybe Negan is going to kill Glenn. So Glenn's death should have hit harder for people who have read the comics. But I guarantee the cliffhanger worked for the people who didn't read the comics and don't know what's going to happen. So it was a win. Yeah, it was a loss. So it was 50-50 and pretty much that cliffhanger in season 6. <clears throat> this episode, the one particular scene that really st sticks out to me other than Glenn, the deaths, was when fucking Negan takes Rick onto a little road trip, throws the fucking um, the hatchet out of the fucking RV and says, go get my hatchet. That shit's mine now. Your crew's mine now. And fucking Rick had, Rick had to go... Swarm of fucking zombies coming from this from the fog from left to right. He didn't know where they were coming, <clears throat> and he he grabbed the hatchet. He tried to survive. He was fighting to survive. That moment was great. I mean, it was done. The cinematography was great. Uh, tension was great. Uh, just it reminded me of Silent Hill, and there was a lot of great effects in there. Uh, it showed Negan's sadistic side. I mean, it was absolutely. Awesome. And then we have more moments in the episode with Carl. Boy, was that fucking great. I honestly thought that Carl might get his arm chopped off. I thought Rick might get his hand chopped off. <clears throat> Negan. This was a Negan episode. And it fucking delivered. But not only that. It showcased the vulnerability of Rick. Rick was crying. Rick was obeying. That is something we haven't seen before. And that's something that we have to like kind of adjust to. Like, is Rick is really defenseless, weak, and cowardly right now. I don't want to say cowardly too much because it, he's in a position where everybody could die. And it's all on him. It's his decision. But then you look at Daryl. And Daryl fucking actually takes a swipe at Negan and actually punches him. And I, I thought he was going to die. I was like, fuck, it's Daryl. Whoa. But, of course, they take... Uh, Dwight wanted to kill him right on the spot, man. Um, fucking, they take Dwight... Uh, or they take Daryl hostage, uh, pretty much. Because Negan fancies Daryl. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I mean, if it was the other way around, uh, Daryl would work perfect for uh, Negan's group. It delivered... It met the hype. This episode delivered in all fronts. Uh, the only thing I really had to complain, of course, was maybe a little bit since I read the comics, was the the death of Glenn. Uh, the impact it should have made a little bit more. Um, the editing was weird with those flashbacks. At the point when Rick was having a flashback and, you know, uh, with all the characters who were lined up, of course, like, you know, Maggie, Michonne, and all that stuff, and then you see their past and everything. It looked like a promo, honestly. Not a porno, a promo. <coughs> um, like, why would he be thinking that? He already knows who died. So that made no sense uh, storytelling-wise. So I would have took that out, honestly. And, of course, I think they just used that. And, of course, they used the deaths of every single one of them because they shot every one of them getting killed with Lucille, but you didn't necessarily need to put it in there. We get where Rick is at mentally and stuff. So, uh, you know, it, we, we didn't, you didn't have to show us all that. We get it. We know where, what state Rick is in because it's all in the eyes. And I think that's why the direction was so great because they focused on Rick's eyes. And honestly, when I was looking at Rick's eyes, I'm like, dude, this guy is like, he looks like a zombie to me. He really does look like a zombie to me. Uh, the way he looks and stuff, he, lo he doesn't look normal. He doesn't look like a human. <clears throat> so the interactions with, with Negan, uh, the dialogue with Negan were fantastic. 
Uh, the pacing was fantastic. The tone was fantastic. Maggie mourning the loss of Glenn was great. I did wish that she would slap Rick. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted that part, but I wanted that part. <clears throat> I'm hoping that Maggie's baby is still alive. So Glenn, you know, oh, and then the part when they're all on the table and it's like Fast and the Furious status. And um, you see Glenn with his kid. I mean, that's a great send off for Glenn's character and a great send off for uh, Abraham because Abraham was right next to him. So that was a good send off. Um, you know, Glenn's a fantastic character. I, in my opinion, I know, uh, I know there's a certain individual who doesn't like Glenn. <clears throat> I think he is definitely part of that trio with Rick's, you know, posse, uh, brotherly posse. You know, you have Daryl, who he considers a brother. I think he considers Glenn's a, as a brother. And I hope future episodes, probably with Michonne, he really reflects how much Glenn really meant to him. Uh, Cause I think Rick, Glenn should have meant as much as what Maggie, you know, Maggie mean, uh, Glenn means to Maggie, Maggie means, uh, means to Glenn. <laughs> I mean, this is the man who saved your life and you wouldn't be here today and your son probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Glenn saving your ass. I mean, I think it was, I would have liked to see, uh, Glenn live and I would have liked to see where, uh, the story would have went with Glenn actually being alive. I mean, there's a particular story that involves uh, a certain group, but, I think when it came to the past seasons, uh, to this season, Glenn just didn't have too much to do. Glenn would, would really either worry about Maggie, would try to find Maggie, or just really didn't. He he had chances to take up the leadership role, which he did sometimes, but there was nowhere else for Glenn's character to go. So I understand why they stuck with Glenn dying in this episode just like the comics but absolutely great episode if it leaves you wanting more it's done its job it leaves me wanting more of negan it leaves me wanting more to see what happens after this <laughs> um it brings you to it makes you think it makes you talk throughout the whole week, which is fantastic for an episode like this. If you could talk about this episode all week and you could discuss it to people who are into the show as well, that's that's a that's a win. That's definitely a win. And you talk about the good things and the shocking things, that's a win. Not the bad things, the good things. There's really not that many bad things here. It really depends on how you uh, took the cliffhanger and it really depends on, you know, editing and stuff and if you guys agree with me on that part. But... This was, I think, one of the best season season premieres of The Walking Dead. So, Walking Dead needs, I, I have great expectations for season 7. I hope season 7 is the season to, that's going to be the greatest season out of The Walking Dead seasons. And all, the whole thing, shebang. Um, because there's a lot of great things that can happen in the future. And if Jeffrey Dean Morgan, great casting. If you you could have got Bruce Campbell to be over the top, but and you could have got the other actor from The Strain to be a little bit over the top as well. But I think Jeffrey Dean Morgan has found that balance, and I think a lot of people are now familiar with Negan and Lucille. I'm Dan and Mankey Now Son. Thank you for listening to Dead Walking Sundays. This was a spoiler review. Subscribe, like if you like the video, and comment below. Spoil spoilers everywhere. Talk. Please, I will respond as soon as I can. I am sick, so and there's a lot of things happening in my life. So uh, there's, you'll have some reviews that are a little bit late, maybe even Walking Dead reviews, but fantastic, fantastic premiere. Till next time, till more Walking Dead.